caring for the American Red Cross. This morning we're learning about the organization's transportation services program. Angela Kelly joins us live from De Pere to tell us more about it. Hi, Angela. Yeah, hey Pete and Rachel, good morning everyone. Here is how that program works. Basically, um, there are you know many people in our area either who are 60 and older or and or disabled who can't get out and, and drive. Uh, maybe they need to get to the grocery store, their job, um, medical appointments. What the Red Cross does right now in the Green Bay Metro and Pulaski areas is they'll come right up, pick you right up, it's door-to-door -door service, and they will arrive in you know whatever type of vehicle it is you may need and take you to your appointments for um, at minimum of just a little bit like small donation around three dollars uh, one way and but these drivers are volunteer and they need more of them and this is Jerry Prelwitz he's been doing it for eight years so good morning to you Jerry can I come on board here sure can. <laughs> um, why don't you give us a little bit of an idea of what your typical day is like as a volunteer driver. Okay, our d typical day starts at 7 in the morning. Uh, we'll show up at the garage to pick up the bus, check our route, uh, check the detours to see if we can get to where we're going. And then once we have our routes done, we go to the first property, like in this case here at this home, uh, pull up, uh, and the person will either be able to walk out or in some cases, like with the bus here, they'll come out in their wheelchair. Uh, and then we'll assist them onto the bus, get them strapped in and seat belts on and such, and then we'll take them to where they have to go. What, what have you experienced in your eight years that keeps you coming back to do this? The different variety of people that I meet. Uh, everybody is unique in their own way. Uh, with senior citizens, that everybody has a special need. They need, a lot of them will just want conversation. So this, I'm their sounding board, if you want to call it that. Um, they're lonely. They want to go someplace. They want to, like you mentioned earlier, they want to go grocery shopping. Well, they have no way to get there. They have no way to get their groceries home. Well, that's where we come in. Mm -hmm. We'll get them on the bus. We'll let them sit down. We'll load their groceries for them. And then we get them back home. We'll take them to the door for them. And, set them inside the door and, mm -hmm. and they're very grateful I just yeah. can't imagine how and that right there is what keeps me coming back absolutely just the feeling and and the thing is is they need they have 80 volunteers now you know <clears throat> including Jerry but they need more people they need more people to come out and help because pretty soon they're going to be adding service uh, also in the Denmark areas and plus too um, a lot of these volunteers are seasonal some of them um, leave and, and go on vacation for the winter months so they need your help and if you um, are willing to to get some more information go to fox11online.com and click on the good day wisconsin tab back to you guys